Hello there and welcome back to the Ice and Sphere program where second time I'm trying to make this video because the first time OBS just decided that it did not want to comply with the stream deck. But uh, yeah, now, now, now everything is working fine and yeah, we got a very nice start screen. The last one I had was a lot nicer, but yeah, I'm tired to know. We're starting from here. Yay. And there we go, we're straight back in. So, yeah, uh, what do I need to do? Yeah, last time I managed to bring the, what's it called, the crystals over here. There should be some new ones coming now. If, if yeah, there they are. Some new organic crystals, because last time, and I'm pretty sure I did this off camera, I did bring some more over. Anyway, wait a minute, why is... Lack of hydrogen? Lack of hydrogen, really? We are lacking hydrogen? Hang on, I feel like... I'm pretty sure that we've got plenty of hydrogen just stored up. Where is it? Where is my hydrogen? Yeah, that's, that's quite a lot. Is that a splitter? Yes, it is. Okay. And then that means that I will bring... There we go, come on. Come on. Right then, so. This can come over to where we are building stuff. And there we go. We got all this hooked up. How many proliferators do we have in it? Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's plenty. And now... We should have all of the hydrogen that we need flowing to here. We're just going to head over into the deuterium makers. And I don't think that we can get much more efficient than this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I may, in fact, have to... Uh, build mm, I might have to build a quick optimization nope wait what's the there it is and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build some of this stuff in a much more efficient way okay then maybe I won't because that's being annoying no, I don't want it to go back into there. <laughs> Whoa, that's that's completely banged. That's cool. Okay then, and then this. You can put a splitter there. And what one? My logistics. Give me logistics. Right, so one splitter here, and one side will go straight through the power pole. Okay. And the other side will go like that, and it will go into here. And these can have power. Never mind, everything already has power, that's great. So all I need to do is hook this into here. And perfect, yay. Can I build another one of these? No, I can't because I've got a lack of item. Okay, then, well, apparently... Okay, then, apparently I need more stuff. Nice, nice to know. And I'm gonna give this thing... Priority. Yeah. Nice. Oh yes, so much deuterium. All of the deuterium we would ever need. Yeah, that's that's plenty of stuff. Right, what next? Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to automate these. So, 
We've already got the Dark Six Fake Components, but now we just need to make the Super Duper Ultra Chips. Oh, those look painful. So, these, these things, the Casmin Crystals. I think that this, the way to make them, like this is most definitely easier, but these, we need some grating crystals, okay then, let's see, can we even get any of those? No, they're going to map. Right, any grating crystals? No. Any grating cr no. No. No, no, okay, so we can see that one, and we can see this one, and neither of them have any grating crystals. Well, I guess we're using the old fashioned recipe then. And yeah, oh, yeah, first of all, I don't need to go and just kind of fix the issue that we have. Oh, wow, that's that's make. That's a lot of titanium stuff. Anyway, I don't need to fix the issue of that we're not making enough of these. And to get more of those, we need to make more of Why is this? What does this need? What do you want? Oh, you want those. Okay. How many of these do I have? I don't know, but I do need more. May as well automate that. Actually, I don't need to automate that. But what I do need to do is just grab as many of these as I can. There we go. Okay then, and it took me a little bit of troubleshooting through, but I think that I've got a very efficient one of these setups that is going to be turning all of the fire ice that we get, probably even more than we get. Never mind, maybe not, because that is completely full, so this is going to be running perfectly for a while. Anyway, even when it does, this is going to be completely full as well. Oh wow. Anyway, I think that, that means that it's also going to be time to build a couple more of these, because why not? We have the graphene now, so may as well, okay. Well, we don't have any of these though. And we need more circuit boards, of course I do, yay. I'm also going to need to lay down some more foundations, which I don't have. Okay then, so, uh, small problem. I was just quickly looking over here and flying over here and I noticed all of these batteries are dead apart from these. And so I went, okay, let's let's check the power grid. Surely it can't be that bad. It's not good at all. It's actually insanely bad. How long do we have until all the batteries run out? Probably uh, a minute, maybe even less, probably even less. So that is why I have decided to start building a Dyson Swarm. So for this, I'm honestly really not sure how these work. And I'm sure that it can't be. You must supply solar sails to each EM rail ejector and configure target orbit for solar sails. You can also copy orbit data from an ejector and paste to another. If you want a more diverse Dyson Swarm mold, insufficient materials. click the Dyson Sphere button at the bottom left corner of the screen to open the Dyson Sphere panel. There you can customize orbits for your Dyson Swarm. Whoa. Yeah, number one goes like this, okay. Number two goes like that. Whoa. Wait, where? Pitch limit, okay, well. If I shoot it to number two, there we go. And now I want to build another one because this is cool. I need more of those, okay. Fine. Where is the star? 
I don't know, can I actually see any of them yet? Probably not. So now we just need to wait, and actually I do need to bring, build some array receivers. So that's just more of those, okay. Okay. What do you need? You need more circuit boards? Do we have any more circuit boards? No, of course not. Okay then, so let's build some more of these. Just for me. Also, I just realized I have, I have some of the distributor things now. Which means that I should be able to... Uh, uh, yeah, I can just build some of these, I think, everywhere. And then that will... Must be attached to a depot. Oh, that just goes on top. Okay. Multiple logistics distributors. They can deliver items between each other as well. Each distributor has a delivery range. The task is out of reach. It will not be executed. This is cool. So when this finishes charging. What if I just put all of my things in here? All this now give me more steel when it is finished charging. Well, okay then, so why is it not giving me any? Oh, I see, it's because I think that it needs to have... Haha, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all well, that's working then. If we just park around here, then look at this. Wow. Oh, wow, they actually have quite a bit of... Uh, what's it called? Uh, carry capacity, wow, look at that. It's just taking all the ones that I don't need. Hmm. I'd probably keep that as default. One point eight. There we go. So now I just need to sort out everything else, and then that's gonna be fun. So I want at most five hundred. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. So it's been a little while. I've been doing some stuff. Let's look at the sun and see if we've made any progress at all with the Dyson Swarm. Where is it? Where? Where is the sun? Here it is. Whoa! We can see one of the rings now. That's cool. There's some logistics distributors over here. Thank you. And I wouldn't mind making another one of these, but I need some more of those magnetic rings. Later. 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 Now, do we have any of these? No, because I need to put more of those magnetic rings. Actually, I do have one. Precisely one. Let's put these over somewhere near the batteries. Yay. Okay, you can improve the receiving efficiency by continuously running it or upgrading technologies. What? Okay. For the first time in a while, I think that we've actually got to go 
through space to get to our other planet. Shame. Anyway. Now that we've got a better battery, we can actually go all the way over there and look at that. The dice's form is very small because the server cell. Oh, look at the being launched as well. Very cool. Oh, we're arriving. Okay. Anyway, I'm just going to go on a very quick uh, fun quest. And uh, yeah, I, hopefully I can actually damage all the stuff that I want to damage. For example, all these towers. Come on. Come on, damage them. Okay then, well the shield is penetrated, which, which is bad, it's very bad. Okay, yes, I understand. Oh, they're chasing me, oh no. Uh, where's the signal tower? I have a signal tower on me. Aha. Watch this. Okay, useless. Uh, defense, 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 signal tower. Where is the nearest power thingy? Over here. That's close enough. That's close enough. Please. Missiles from across the planet, what are you doing? Come on. Yeah. Oh, they're shooting at me. No. No. Stop it. Stop it, I don't like it. No. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Wait, what does B do? Hold B to charge. Oh, that just charges my shield. Okay, then. Wait, no, that's... That's charging something else, isn't it? I don't even know what this is charging, to be honest, but I want to see what happens. What's going to happen? What's gonna happen? That damage unit damage. Wait, what? Whoa! That was interesting. Okay, then what well, now? I just need to. Oh, yeah, he's Oh, okay, interesting. Oh, so when they get to level 21 plus, and they can drop all kinds of stuff. But at level 0, they only drop some little useless stuff. Some of this stuff looks pretty good, though. If they got to reinforced thruster drops, creating crystal drops, nice. But right now, uh, I need to exit this mode and go into power, and where is it? Oh, I need to build one. Oh, I cannot build one. Um, oh well, that's just gonna be like that for a bit, for a little bit. How do I? Where do I build one of these? What do I need? More glass. Okay. Stone. Come here. For the first time in a very long time, I've actually got this thing fully powered up, and it looks amazing. And uh, yeah, we are. I am massively doing my best to improve the amount of those sale upgrades we have because, you know, we kind of need them, and that is, that is everything that we can get, okay. Hmm. Now what? Research speed? Nah. We need, we finally, we're gonna go and get the vertical launching silo. Yay, I've got a lot of solar, solar sails now. And that means that I can also build one more thingy now, yay. The number of your solar sails has grown, and a Dyson Swarm has formed around the star. 
we should be able to see it clearly. The Dyson Swarm can constantly generate electricity. We need to build a ray receiver to obtain this energy. Every ejected solar sail has a regular service life. Keep ejecting solar sails to maintain the power output of the Dyson Swarm. Okay. Yay! And the next thing on that path is to build the Dyson Sphere cell, or whatever it is. This game is just taking way too long, so uh, yeah, for now, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, because it really helps out a small channel like this one. I'm going to go off, maybe, maybe record another, I mean, I do have to record a bit another video, but I also have to do some other stuff. So for now, I'm just going to fly right into the sun. Yes, look at that. The Dyson Swarm. It grows. Look at that. Wait a minute, I might have to just... I don't know how fast we're going or where we're going. Mm, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you all next time. Bye.